five minutes. It'll be wet along much of the Atlantic coast, although move inland just a bit and you can find some sunny skies. Looking ahead to the weekend, clearing in the northeast on Sunday, but Saturday looks like it'll be a mixed bag of rain and snow. Sunny but cool in the southeast, mostly dry in the nation's midsection, and there'll be the beginnings of a new storm system in the northwest. That's a look at the national weather. Here's a look at what's happening where you are. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Lee Goldberg. Upper 30s right now, moderate rain and to complicate things, the wind's picking up as well. Visibility is low with fog. Over to the Yaki track again, we're still for the most part in heavy rain, although we're starting to notice a clearing light right now across northwestern New Jersey and then back through eastern Pennsylvania. Slow progress by early afternoon, it begins to taper off a bit. On the five day, the commute home will just feature basically drizzly conditions. A breakthrough tomorrow, steady rains coming back tonight into Saturday, some snow inland then blustering colder for the remainder of the week weekend. Well, remember springing out of bed bright and early on a Saturday morning for your favorite cartoon. I'll tell you, Scooby-Doo could get me out of bed like that. <laughs> well, a lot of things have uh, changed in more ways than one. Uh, today's hottest cartoon is called South Park, and it's a show that comes on long past most kids' bedtimes, and the characters are spouting words that would put a wise guy like Bugs Bunny to shame. It's made for adults. The cartoon is proving irresistible to children, however, a fact that has some parents hopping mad. The controversy centers on four foul-mouthed third graders, the stars of Comedy Central's animated series. Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny look innocent enough, but when you consider Cartman once roasted hot dogs over an accident-prone Vietnam vet, or that Kenny dies violently in almost every episode, you begin to understand how shocking the show can be. The network insists South Park is a cartoon for adults, not children, but almost a quarter of its audience is under 18. 5% are under 11. I like the voices and I like the way they swear. It's pretty funny. It's really dumb and it's funny. My mom says I can't watch it anymore. It's like a twisted Charlie Brown. With a South Park phenomena gaining steam, Comedy Central will begin airing 20 hot new episodes in May. Question is, are they too hot for your kids? I don't consider it acceptable for children. <laughs> is it inappropriate, Charlie? No, I don't think so. So is South Park too mature for school-aged children? Here to offer her opinion is Carol Clark, assistant principal of Nellie Bennett Elementary School in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Joining us from Los Angeles this morning, a familiar face, child magazine columnist and mother of four, <laughs> Vicki Iovine. Vicki, you were just here yesterday talking about children's bad habits. Well, might as well continue on in that vein, right? <laughs> in that vein, we will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start uh, with you, Vicki. Do you think, as a mother uh, and as a person who writes about child care, do you think parents should keep this comedy off limits to their kids? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth about my family. My oldest child is 10, a boy, and I tried very hard this whole year to keep South Park out of our house. And it didn't matter for the longest time whether he actually saw it or not. He still learned from his classmates mm. all, the, all the stories, all the lines, all the everything. So finally, I decided to surf this cultural wave because I knew I was going to drown in it either way. And I sat down and watched the tapes with him. Somebody had made a video cassette for us. And... Um, you know, a terrible thing has happened. Me, the authoritative figure, I laughed as hard You've as he did. You've been co-opted. <laughs> yes. And I just feel that the best thing to do is to keep up watching with him because I must tell you, it brings a lot of great topics of conversation up. But you're Much better than asking how social studies went today. But you're talking, you're, you're saying show this on tape after you've seen it to your oldest child, but your younger children, you don't let them see it, correct? No, I don't. And mm. I have to say, that's not easy. But the way I manage to do that is South Park is a weekend experience. I think it's a little uh, intense. I think it makes the kids get more excited and more hyperactive. It's something you can do on a Saturday when the other 10-year-olds are around for the sleepover. Uh, yeah. But i got to tell you, Vicki, I had the same experience. I mean, my son has been talking about South Park. He has never seen it. And, Carol, did, have you seen manifestations, South Park-like behavior going on in the schoolyards <laughs> at your school? Well, absolutely, and that was the concern that the administrators in our district had, that we just wanted to let the parents be aware of the show. So Certainly, you sent out a notice, I guess, uh, from, uh, from your office saying that, you know, warning parents who don't know about it, that it contains offensive language and subject matter, but you have also, I think, forbidden uh, kids from writing about the subject matter in their creative writing classes. Why did you take that step? 
It was just getting out of hand. Um, we have an excellent uh, reading and writing uh, program in our school, and we did not want the emphasis to be on South Park characters. Mm. And May I ask why, I mean, as a writer and as a person who ha would give anything to have my children write a page about anything, I just can't understand why you would limit it, for, take something that they're so clearly interested in away. I work with uh, eight and nine year olds and I don't think that it's appropriate for them. And I uh, feel that if it was the parents' responsibility to uh, sit with their children and discuss it, but certainly not view it. But in our letter to the parents, we ask them to use their parental guidance. And even, really many teachers have not even seen the show, just its hearsay. Um, it is something that is viewed at Wednesday night, 10 o'clock. And uh, that was a whole other piece as well, should the children be up that late. Well, mm. it's really constructed for adults. I mean, this Absolutely. is social satire, and it's, it's laced with profanity and, and, you know, bathroom humor and all of those things that, you know, we've seen on Ren and Stimpy and Beavis and Butthead before. Mm. But, but it really is social satire, and some of the themes are, are, are really just geared toward adults. They are, and I have to say, in my, you know, every once in a while when I hear like chef talking, I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I hope my children un don't understand innuendo. And so far they don't. But I'll tell you other things. <clears throat> for example, there was an episode for Halloween, and it was very useful to have an opportunity to explain what the Ku Klux Klan was. You know, I, there is some conversation that can be had with your child, especially when you have turf that they're so interested in. I can't get my children a 10-year-old, you say, how was school today? He says, fine. Did anything happen? No. And then I say, well, what was happening on South Park? Forget it. I can get an hour of conversation in. And I think if I can keep those conversations going and uh, explain which parts are to be accepted and which parts are to be rejected or which are inappropriate, I'm kind of grateful for having any common ground like that. Well, our concern that there were many parents not even aware of the show, not even aware of the content. And we had hmm. third graders causing quite a disruptive focus in the classroom on Thursday mornings. And that's why we had to bring it to the parents. So can they attention. wear their t-shirts? Can they wear all the marketing stuff to school? We never banned that. And I thought after the letter went out that the parents would use their good judgment if they want to say, this is all right with me. It's certainly the parents' responsibility. Now, is this different, though, than, what was it, 10 years ago now that Bart Simpson was all the rage on, right. you know, in classrooms and all of the parents were What's saying, different oh, about no, this you know, one? they're wearing Have a Cow t-shirts. This can't happen. Is, how is this different? Lisa, it's very different. The, it's just a, a stronger, stronger show than um, The Simpsons or whatever. Uh, well, it's totally inappropriate for children. Except that we can say the same thing. Me the messages generally are stronger. It's like we said, well, yeah, rock music with, you know, the Rolling Stones. Any other company of any kind in America.